that's really the banana zone. The banana zone is here and now. Everything I look at says the banana zone is here. Bitcoin seasonal seasonality, election years, October up only. The other thing I put out on X was about Sui. Sui is a um, crypto token that I'm on the foundation board of. So yes, I'm shilling it, but I'm actually not. Um, I don't talk about stuff that I don't think is going to go up. It has been, I've been talking about this for a while. I've been warning people that I think Sui is going to be one of the chosen ones of the cycle. Both Bitcoin and Sway are poised for significant gains starting this October. Yet surprisingly, many are still not paying attention. This is the latest prediction from Real Vision CEO Raul Pal, who believes Bitcoin could reach new heights while Sway is set to emerge as one of the standout tokens of this cycle. Current market conditions are highly favorable for Bitcoin, especially with increasing liquidity and seasonal trends that historically lead to price gains in October. Meanwhile, Sway was developed by a team that previously worked on Facebook's Libra project, which encountered regulatory challenges and was ultimately shut down. Learning from that experience, the team launched Sway to create a faster and more efficient blockchain. Notably, Sway can process transactions in under one second, making it ideal for online gaming and financial services where speed is crucial. It is gaining traction, and Raul Pal believes it's only a matter of time before Sway's price takes off. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video to hear Raul Pal's latest crypto predictions, and why he thinks we might be on the brink of something significant. Stop. You don't have time. Don't miss out this 2025 bull run. Educate yourself first ahead of the crowd. We have created the ultimate step-by-step -step crypto cheat guide that will guide you this bull run. Unlock the secrets of crypto and make smarter investments today. Now by clicking on the link below to get your exclusive copy just under $10. Just to show why it matters, this is the Banana Zone. I posted this on Twitter. Global M2, 10-week lead over Bitcoin. Do you need anything better than that? Oh, wait. I can give you something better than that. I can give you the GMI total liquidity, which is both private sector and state sector liquidity versus Bitcoin. It says the Banana Zone is here. That's the only thing I can, I can think of, is that everything I look at says the Banana Zone is here. Bitcoin seasonal seasonality, election years, October up only. Right, and these are big moves. Same in the Russell 2000. You know, I'm not going to go through all of Julian's charts because that's unfair. And we're going to do it to the uh, Real Vision RVIP group tomorrow. We've got an AMA there where we're going to really dig in uh, to some of our stuff. Here's Bitcoin last year versus this year. I mean, really? And this is La La Land, ETH, last year versus this year. So, oh, and by the way, that's the straightforward Bitcoin pattern. I mean, everything I look at, every single thing, shouts the Banana Zone. Now, I'm wearing my Banana Zone t-shirt because I think it's coming. I think it's coming in days or maybe a week. And before I said, well, maybe it's next month, maybe it's a month after, maybe it's this week, I don't know. I'm like, no, no, no. Julian and I in Global Macro Investor, which is the flagship research service. And if you haven't checked it out, go to globalmacroinvestor.com, have a look, see what we do from there. That's where we do the deep work. I think we do more macro crypto work than anybody else in the world. And I think our macro work is the best in the world as well. And we've done thousands of hours on this. And I, I know it sounds hubristic, but I, I, I honestly give this banana zone an 80-something percent chance of happening almost immediately. Give it two weeks, within two weeks. Um, and I know that sticking my neck out and wearing my Banana Zone t-shirt, I'm trying not to jinx the thing. But, you know, as I've talked about, all of our hopes and dreams are in this. Mine too. Real Vision as a business. Um, almost everybody I speak to, you know, I've been on the phone with a few, you know, billionaire GMI subscribers, friends of mine, Everybody wants this to happen. Everyone needs this to happen um, because people are invested. Now, technology, there's a bunch of other ways of skinning this cat. But really, people have been like this with high interest rates, a slow um, business cycle where ISM has been bumping along. And I know people like a lot of, you know, people on Twitter are like, oh, well, my God, the markets are all time high. What is everybody complaining about? Speak to real fucking people when their mortgages are like that, their interest payments are like that, their credit card bills are like that. Speak to corporations who are trying to borrow money that aren't kind of 
you know, triple A rated tech companies that have no debt, you know, all of this stuff. It has been very, very difficult for a while. Rates have been the highest they have for a very long time. The rate of change of interest rates was enormous. Inflation is now wildly below interest rates. So, so real rates are ridiculously restrictive. And people feel it. People are not happy. People don't have a expend, uh, personal expenditure abilities to do what they want. But it's coming. It's coming. The business cycle is changing. So all of you, all of you who run businesses, all of you who see the slugginess of the cycle and wonder why the equity market's going to all-time highs and your business isn't yet, it's all going to come. Things are going to improve dramatically. The equity market's driven by liquidity. Your earnings, yours and mine, are driven by the business cycle. And that is just about to pick up. So cheers. Here's to a much, much better 18 months ahead. Both for your portfolio, for your personal lives, and everything else. So try it. You're going to have a go at me again for eating with my mouth open. But if I don't, I can't talk to you. And then you're sitting there thinking, why the fuck am I watching this when uh, Ralph's just chewing his food? But I'm going to be uncouth. I could do this as well, but ridiculous. So that's really the banana zone. The banana zone is here and now. The other thing I put out on X was about Sui. Sui is a um, crypto token that I'm on the foundation board of. So yes, I'm shilling it, but I'm actually not. Um, I don't talk about stuff that I don't think is going to go up. It has been, I've been talking about this for a while. I've been warning people that I think Sui is going to be one of the chosen ones of the cycle. But Sui, it's outperforming pretty much everything now. And most importantly, it's outperforming Solana, which is my big bet. And Solana is yeah, my chosen one. I have 90% of my net worth in Solana. But Sui, I've obviously been granted some tokens as being part of the foundation. They're locked up, etc. Um, but I'm not going to sell. In fact, no, some of them are unlocked. I'm, I'm not going to sell. In fact, I've been buying personally because um, I think it's a chosen one. I think it's going to do really fucking well. Um, yes, there's a low free float, which everyone goes, oh my God, they're going to be dumping on you. But a lot of the unlock happened a few months ago. Really, it's now pretty phased and pretty low key. But in a bull market, in a really, really interesting protocol that has attention, a low free float means a smaller amount of money drives a larger price rise. The reverse can happen in the bear market too. So just beware, but we're in bull market time. It's just a bloody interesting project. You may hate it. You may have something else you prefer. All I ask you to do is show to yourself, not to me, that your chart is going to outperform Solana. And then is it going to outperform Sui? Is it going to outperform? Yeah, that's the way to do things. And that's what got me into the Bitcoin ETH cross. That's what got me into the... Solana, ETH Solana trade, and um, and Sui, I've been flagging this for a while. I thought it was looking like the chart was going to do this. So it feels like it's one of the big ones. There'll be other stuff that will outperform Sui without question. Maybe it's your token. Maybe it's your, and I'm not going to mention, every time I mention a bunch of tokens, everyone I get shouts about, so I just can't be bothered with you guys. Um, but listen, I believe in abundance, and I think... I wish you, in whatever your choices are, the best. It is not player versus player. I'm just trying to make as much money for myself and for my subscribers of Pro Macro and uh, Global Macro Investor and the Macro Investing Tool. All the things that I do to try and help people and publicly. I share a lot of my information for free. It pisses off some of the people who are paying tens of thousands of dollars for my research, but it's really important for me to help as many people in this journey as possible. If we're going through the largest opportunity in all macro history in the shortest period of time i've got to take as many people as possible with me if not I'm fucking selfish that's not why i set up real vision it's not what i've been doing this it's really important to me that you guys do the best now i am not fallible i'm not a guru i will not get everything right um and you will probably help hate me at some point and love me at other times just like i, I mentioned this a lot 
just realized I'm just trying to do the best I can to help. I'm not trying to diss your coin. I'm not trying to do anything against you. I'm not trying to scam you, shill you, do anything. I am just doing what I'm doing myself. And I'm telling you what I'm doing. And if you don't want to do that, that's good too. If you want to come along with me for the ride, that's fine too. I don't have all the answers. I will not be the best in the world. Anyway, um, just wanted to tell you that because, you know, I actually worry, and you know, you guys know something, Nala is barking again. I, I don't know why. She's deaf. She can't hear anything. So she can't hear that she's barking. But yes, I mentioned this a lot, is this space is, is some of the most delightful, wonderful people. We're all in this together. We're all trying our best. And it's also just some awful, awful people who just want to just be spiteful about everything. And it's really tiresome when you're, you know, I mean, I work 14 hour days. Um, I can do other stuff, but I don't. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to share a chart, which is just, it's the easiest chart in the world. This is the chart of CPI versus the large outburst of inflation, the five largest from the 1940s and 1980s. This Mount Fuji pattern is so consistent, yet everybody bleats, oh, well, they're going to, if they cut rates, they're going to bring inflation back. No, they're not. They never have. Inflation will come at the end of the cycle. This is so normal. Inflation is going to keep falling. It'll be below 2%. And guess what? I think rates are coming below 2% and people don't understand this yet. And so I think rates will continue to be cut. The market doesn't understand this. Rates are part of financial conditions that should continue to improve. In fact, do I have a financial conditions chart on? I've stolen Julian's charts from our Exponential Age Asset Management um, um, Investment Committee meeting this morning. That one's basically the rate of change of interest rates versus the ISM survey. Don't tell Julian I'm doing this. He'll get pissed off because I'm using his charts. Um, but um, our GMI model, it shows that ISM, the business cycle is all about to pick up, all the talk about it recession and everything is just utter nonsense uh we've actually got economic growth signposted everywhere whilst inflation is falling so um that's the big story um so the fed blah 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 but generally speaking risk assets should be doing really well and risk assets are doing really well because guess what as i've talked about bleated about explained to you in the everything code is global liquidity, this is the time, they have to roll the debts, global liquidity is going to go up, and hey presto, it's going up just like it did every other time. So that's global M2, we can use GMI weekly global liquidity, which is just central bank orientated, less exciting yet. When we get to the Chinese, their assets, their balance sheet in white, that's cyclical, it will continue to grow, they will probably do a lot of um, of quantitative easing. But generally speaking, overall, the GMI total liquidity index breaking out. Now, September 18th, 2004, 50 basis point rate cut. September 18th, 2007, 50 basis point rate cut. Da, da, da. The market's going to collapse. At that point, the business cycle was at the peak and falling. Inflation was at the peak. This inflation has been falling and the business cycle is at the bottom. It's just like, this is banana stuff. Please don't fall for this overly dramatic, the world is going to fall. You will only go to the poorhouse if you listen to doomsters. Do you listen to doomsters at the peak of the business cycle when it's starting to lower? Then you dial up that dial. If not, tune the fuckers out. They will lose you more money than anybody. It's so damn alluring. Here's inflation. The moment they cut, the 70s is coming back again. Tell them to fuck off. Every time they show, here's Cisco versus NVIDIA. It's all about, tell them to fuck off. They don't know what they're talking about. Cisco, earnings versus price. NVIDIA, price earnings on a forward basis is cheaper than bloody Costco. It's like these people are there to sell stuff based on fear. And they make it sound smart. Please don't do that. I have been part of that. I didn't do it to sell stuff, but I had that lens. I've learned a secular trend, crypto macro, so um, um, uh, crypto tech. It's so easy. Follow that trend. Tomorrow's going to be more digital than today. What is Bitcoin as an asset? 
It is a risk on asset driven by liquidity, but it's a defensive asset because it works against the debasement of currency. That's really what it is. With rising economic challenges like high inflation and fluctuating interest rates, many people are turning to cryptocurrencies as a safer option for storing their wealth. Raul Pal believes that Bitcoin is gaining traction as digital gold, suggesting that more individuals are beginning to view it as a reliable way to protect their assets during uncertain times. This shift is significant, indicating that cryptocurrencies may not just be a passing trend. Pal believes we are entering an era where cryptocurrencies are likely to become increasingly popular and valuable. He highlights that as more large companies begin investing in cryptocurrencies, it will attract even greater interest from everyday individuals. This surge in participation could lead to a substantial increase in cryptocurrency prices, making them highly profitable investments. Essentially, Pal argues that the more people invest in cryptocurrencies, the higher their prices could rise. For more daily dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.